Oh, the PS5. An incredible piece of technology paired with the most awesome exclusive games of the industry. It is fair to say that it's been a huge hit among gamers. However, there are so many common mistakes that PlayStation users are making every day with results that range from minor inconveniences to major irreparable damage. So get ready, cause today we're having a look at the top 10 crucial PS5 mistakes you must avoid. Super players. Number 10. Avoid running the PS5 continuously without rest mode or shutting down. Electronic devices, including gaming consoles like the PS5, generate heat. To prevent overheating, these devices utilize cooling systems such as fans and heat sinks. However, running your PS5 constantly without giving it rest or shutting it down when not in use, particularly with auto rest mode disabled, can lead to excessive heat buildup. Overheating can cause severe damage to the internal components of your PS5, reducing its lifespan or causing it to stop working altogether. This could cost you both time and money for repairs or replacement. Therefore, it's important to give your console breaks and use the rest mode or properly shut it down when it's not in use. Number 9. Don't interrupt updates by switching off your PS5. When your console is updating, it's essentially reconfiguring its software or firmware, performing crucial tasks like installing security patches, improving system stability, or adding new features. Turning off your PS5 during an update interrupts this process, which can cause serious issues. At best, you may have to restart the update, but at worst, it could corrupt your system memory, affecting your console's functionality. Additionally, it may also corrupt your saved games, causing you to lose your progress. Therefore, always make sure that your console completes its updates before turning it off. Number 8. Avoid disabling the Auto Update feature. The Auto Update feature of your PS5 is an essential tool that helps maintain your console's security and performance. While your PS5 is in rest mode, it automatically downloads and installs updates, including security patches, firmware upgrades, and game updates. Disabling this feature might expose your console to potential vulnerabilities and prevent you from experiencing new features or improvements. Despite the occasional inconvenience of having to wait for updates to install, it's important to keep auto-update enabled to ensure your PS5 remains secure and up-to-date. Number 7. Avoid leaving unused discs in the console. Leaving an unused disc in the PS5's optical drive might seem harmless, especially when the console is off. However, doing so can cause unnecessary wear and tear on the disc reader, potentially reducing its lifespan. Furthermore, if the console is moved while a disc is inside, it could damage the disc reader sensor or the disc itself, leading to unreadable games or a non-functional drive. Therefore, always ensure that you remove any unused discs before moving the console or switching to a digital game. Number 6. Avoid incorrect shutdown of your PS5. Your PlayStation 5, like any other sophisticated electronic device, depends heavily on its internal software to function correctly. This software, also known as firmware, manages everything from the visual interface you interact with to more foundational aspects such as data management and communication between various hardware components. The process of shutting down your PS5 is more than simply cutting power to the system. When you select the Turn Off PS5 option in the power settings, it initiates a series of steps designed to safely end all activities, save any unsaved data, and prepare the system for a complete power off. This orderly shutdown process helps to maintain the integrity of the system software and preserve your data. An improper shutdown, such as pulling the plug or switching off the power abruptly, circumvents this important process. This can be particularly harmful if the console was in the middle of writing data when the power was cut off. In computers, this is equivalent to a sudden system crash, which is known to cause numerous issues, including file corruption, lost data, and in some cases, damage to the operating system. In the context of a PS5, if the console was saving your game progress or updating system files when power was suddenly removed, 
it may result in loss of your game progress or even corruption of the system software. This could lead to an unbootable console, necessitating a time-consuming and potentially costly repair process. This small act not only safeguards your valuable game progress, but also ensures the longevity of your console. Number 5. Avoid attempting to jailbreak or hack your PS5 Jailbreaking or hacking your PS5 might seem enticing, as it often promises access to restricted features or the ability to run unofficial software. However, such practices carry significant risks. Attempting to alter the system software could break your console, rendering it inoperable. Additionally, it could lead to permanent bans from PlayStation Network, preventing you from accessing online features, multiplayer games, digital purchases, and updates. Given these risks and the potential expense of repairing or replacing a bricked console, it's best to use your PS5 as intended and respect the software restrictions put in place by Sony. Number 4. Avoid Misplacement of Your PS5 The placement of your PS5 in your gaming setup plays a critical role in its performance and lifespan. Placing your console in an enclosed space without proper ventilation or not using the stand can lead to overheating issues. Overheating is one of the main causes of damage to electronic devices, as it can reduce the lifespan of components and lead to performance issues. Therefore, always ensure your PS5 is positioned in a well-ventilated space and securely fixed on its stand to promote optimal airflow and stability. Number 3. Avoid downloading the incorrect version of cross-gen games The PS5 is backward compatible with PS4 games, meaning that it can play both versions. However, PS5 versions of cross-gen games often offer significant enhancements such as improved graphics, faster loading times, and other next-gen features. Accidentally downloading the PS4 version of a game means missing out on these enhancements. Therefore, always check the version of the game after purchasing a cross-gen title. You can do this by going to the PlayStation Store, finding the game you wish to download, select the three dots button next to the download button, and selecting the PS5 version. Number 2. Turn off trophy video recording. The PS5 has a feature that automatically records gameplay when you earn a trophy. While this can be a fun way to relive your achievements, it also uses up valuable storage space. With the internal storage on the PS5 being somewhat limited, especially when you have many games installed, you'll want to conserve space where you can. By turning off trophy video recording, you can save a significant amount of space over time, allowing for more games and other content on your console. Number 1. The PlayStation 5, Sony's newest gaming console, is equipped with a super-fast internal SSD, or solid-state drive. This is a significant upgrade from the PlayStation 4's slower hard drive technology. This internal SSD is one of the reasons why PS5 games can load almost instantaneously, render vast game worlds in real time, and minimize lag during gameplay. But with great speed comes great data requirements. PS5 games are often larger than their predecessors, requiring more storage space due to their enhanced graphics and complex content. This poses a strategic question regarding how best to use this internal SSD given its finite storage capacity. Considering that PS5 games are specifically designed to make use of this fast storage for maximum performance, it makes sense to reserve the internal SSD for PS5 titles. On the other hand, PS4 games were designed with the previous generation's hardware in mind. They don't take advantage of the PS5's fast SSD in the same way that PS5 games do because their designs and data structures were not built for this speed. While they may see some improvement in loading times when stored on the SSD, the difference is generally not as dramatic as with PS5 games. Furthermore, one of the benefits of the PS5 is its backward compatibility with PS4 games, which means you can play your PS4 titles directly from an external USB drive. This is where the cost-effectiveness comes in. External USB drives, particularly those based on slower hard drive technology, are generally cheaper per gigabyte than high-speed SSDs. 
By offloading your PS4 games onto an external drive, you can free up your console's fast internal storage for PS5 games, thus ensuring you get the best performance where it matters most. Plus, if you have a sizable library of PS4 games, this strategy will allow you to maintain access to all of your old favorites without taking up precious SSD space. So, there you have it! Do you have any other tips to help other users prolong their PlayStation 5 lifespan? Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you again in our next video. Super players.